Boom shakalaka, you rarely get a Bitcoin chance like this. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, including the real reason for the dump kind of getting explained, panned out over time. And you rarely get a chance like this. Before we get into it, guys, like the video, come join us on Twitter through Crypto Love, and subscribe to the OG Bitcoin and Crypto YouTube channel making daily videos since 2017. That's seven years. Holy freaking cow. Now, today, fear and greed at 27, same as we were yesterday, the overall market just about sideways, a little bit of an uptick. Bitcoin at 57,598, Ethereum at 3084, and BNB at 515. Now, if we take a look at Bitcoin, still following the bar pattern for the last time price dumped below the 200 day moving average during the bull cycle. Also respecting this bull flag territory right at the bottom, we do have a bit of resistance right now at 59.9 or $60,000. Also the 200 day moving average at 57.2. So that could be a bit of resistance where they co where they come together right there at 58 or 59,000. That would probably be very strong resistance for Bitcoin to break through for the short term. Now, the real reason for the dump coming out exposed, clearer view, and our culprit. Paper bets have been rising, creating 140,000 extra paper Bitcoin while available spot supply has remained flat. Compare that to 10,000 Bitcoin that Germany sold and you will see what really caused the dump. It's because they just keep printing more and more paper Bitcoin right here. Even though there's a limited supply, 21,000 real Bitcoin, you can just trade all of these paper Bitcoin. As a matter of fact, you can go 100x leverage and really move the markets. Now, if we take a look at this bull run so far, this has been the largest correction of this bull run so far. Interesting to note, right now this is 27. Some of the other ones, the largest one before this was 21 point, or 22.6. Interesting to note, previous bull markets, we saw stuff in the 30s, in the 50s, in the 40s. So these drawdowns so far are pretty small, but they still hurt, especially if this is your first cycle. And just a reminder for those of you who may be in your first cycle, can understand the fear definitely, but you should recall all the prior periods, the price corrected even further than what we've seen right now, and yet still price continued to climb after that. Rinse and repeat, nothing different. So a little bit of patience could do you, unless the bears are right. Has Bitcoin completed a double top? Could it possibly? Well, if it has, the target for this $44,000. Certainly possible. This would be great. It would wipe out a lot of the long leverage. I know it's not great for the price, but it's a temporary move, wipes out all the long leverage, and then eventually price can go back up over time because by that point, the longs will be so scared that they'd be afraid to go long leverage at that point. But that may not happen because if we take a look right here, Bitcoin is respecting trend line support right now and we could be headed back upwards. You can see the RSI has dropped a little bit here, coming back out of oversold territory to just regular territory. So again, resetting a little bit could be on the next way up for Bitcoin. As a matter of fact, there was one chart, I don't remember what it was over the past couple of days, that kind of reminded me where we are, very similar to the summer rally of 2019. And this chart also, the Chaikin money flow and Pi cycle top, coincidentally, showing the same type of thing where we got rejected from the Pi cycle top 350 DMA times two at these times in the mid cycle top. This could potentially just be the mid cycle top. How freaking cool is that? That means there's going to be a blow off top, hopefully, fingers crossed, coming up pretty sometime in the next year, two years, something like that. And then that could be really awesome for Bitcoin price. As of yet, if we take a look, the venture capital invested in crypto has seen nothing like what it saw in 2021, meaning again, very likely that this could be a, you know, summer top, mid-cycle type of peak as opposed to a full-blown top and a double top and a cycle over like the bears are saying. If we take a look at here, the MVRV momentum has shifted below zero for the first time since March of 2023. Now, noted the price oh, went up quite dramatically in that time when MVRV uh, dipped below there and then came back up. So we could be headed for the price to go up from here. 
this was a nice reset in terms of the supply and profit because if we take a look at the purple right here, this is the supply and profit, same as we saw back in January of this year. However, at that time, price was 39.5, whereas right now, price is at 56.9. So after 39.5, you remember price went up to 70 and changed. So could we be in for almost a doubling the price from here, $120,000 Bitcoin? Oh, brother, could be good. Either way you look at it, if you're a value investor, like all these people are like, oh yeah, Warren Buffett, he's brilliant. Or maybe they hate him because he doesn't like Bitcoin. I don't exactly know. But they're like, yeah, he's a value investing, man. Value investing. You got to go find value. And then when Bitcoin drops below its actual value, people are like, I'm not touching that. It's going to zero. But this is actually a very clear value opportunity. If we take a look at the Bitcoin power law, which takes a look at log time and log price, the current price is roughly $56,000. The current power law price, $71,000. Now, based on my elementary math, that means every Bitcoin you buy, you're making $15,000. Why would you not do that? Right now, price is 21% below the trend. Right now, current price is 236 days behind the trend. So, seems like a decent buy, especially when you consider this. You rarely ever get a Bitcoin chance like this. As a matter of fact, this is the first time it's ever happened in my existence in Bitcoin because I got into Bitcoin sometime back here in the summer of 2017. But if we take a look at the Fisher Transform, which basically uses some Gaussian distributions to help determine trends of price a little bit better. Well, we can see that each time it crosses this zero line, that is pretty much parabolic pump signal we can see this has happened twice before. The last cycle, it did not happen. But this cycle has reset, has gone past zero, which means more likely than not, we have a serious parabolic pump blow off top coming. This time was not a blow off top. This was a wick off top. And as much as it's nice to be wicked off, not with my Bitcoin, please. Now, that being said, should things turn out pretty good for Bitcoin, if it's not a top, well, this could potentially be where we're headed. The average growth trajectory of Bitcoin based on previous cycles, the average is right here in the middle. That would be over a million dollars by 2025. Now I know a lot of you are like, that's not gonna happen. No way, not a chance. Okay, let's look at some other scenarios. So let's take away this first Bitcoin halving cycle and just between the orange and the yellow one. Well, that's still over $600,000 and you're like, no way, each time it goes down, it's still not gonna happen like that because this one and then that one and then this one. Well, even if we take a look at half of the previous cycle, that's still over $150,000. So no matter how you cut it, unless you're a freaking bear, and if you are, I don't know why you watch this channel other than you're, you're like a sadist, you just like to do inflict pain upon yourself. Well, things are looking pretty darn good for Bitcoin. So that's all for this episode. If you enjoyed it, like the video, come join us on Twitter through Crypto Love. Subscribe to the OG Bitcoin and Crypto YouTube channel. That's right, this one. And also YouTube says you should watch that video right there. Now don't disappoint. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.